Hey guys, it's Sunday and I'm sit I'm still sitting in my pajamas, but I don't care. Um, it's Sunday and this week's topic is uh, problems you face when you're FTM. Sorry for the noise of my computer. I think the uh, first one is pretty obvious, uh, dysphoria. Um, yeah, it's of course difficult when when you have your female body but you feel male inside and yeah you can change it um, when I look in the mirror it's uh, it's like I recognize my face but uh, I'm not sure of my body if it really belongs to me and uh, it's like yeah it's more so strange or something I don't know if I really hate my body but uh, for now it's uh, it's like it's it's um, it's sort of stranger for me. Um, I have this body for like 19 years, so I accepted for 18 years that yeah that I'm a female from the outside and I can't do anything about it. So I live with it, but it's getting harder to live with it right now. So, um, second, um, I think uh, what I really miss is swimming. Um, with FTM you can't just go swimming and because you can take off your shirt. Uh, because yeah, you have female parts and yeah, you can show them. Um, of course you can. Uh, wear a sort of bathing suit for men, but <laughs> yeah, he will stand out and yeah, it's not nice. Um, I really miss that swimming. Uh, I never wore a bikini because I, I didn't like it. Uh, I always wore a woman bathing suit, but I never felt right in it or something. I always was ashamed of my body, so. Yeah, I really want to go swimming again, but I don't want to put on my bathing suit, so... Um, uh, yeah, when you're FTM and you have female parts, uh, and you have breasts, um, you always have to wear a binder uh, to hide them, and the binders are not that nice to wear. Um, I'm pretty small, it's, um, it's not that it really hurts when I wear it, but when I uh, when I do stuff in it like running or something, it's, it's harder to breathe, so um, yeah, it's harder to exercise, because yeah, it's, it's pushing on your lungs and it's not nice. Um, Also, the summer, um, it's FTM, uh, especially when you have uh, a big chest, uh, you have to wear layers because you want to hide it. And in the summer, it's gonna be really hot. And yeah, you can take off your shirt like other boys. And uh, maybe when you walk your t shirt, your, your chest will be show. Uh, will show and yeah you can't wear lace because it's too hot and yeah and um, you female parts female shapes will more show because in the summer you don't wear that much because it's so hot yeah and that's difficult um, what I also find difficult um, I'm almost 19 and um, um, I don't look like the guys at my age. Um, the guys at my age are more masculine in, in their face. And I just have a baby face. And I think when you're still in high school, it's not that big of a problem. Because um, in high school, there are also. Uh, eighth graders and ninth graders that look like you uh, 
that you look like a younger guy. But when you are studying and you go to college, yeah, you still look like a guy of 14 or 15. Um, um, I pause like outside school most of the time, but uh, when I'm in school, uh, it's also so that um, that I'm not out at school. So, but uh, I don't look like the guys of my age. So it's pretty difficult. Um, another thing, um, when you are out or something, but you are not out to other people. You have to explain it and explain it. You always have to explain your story. Something I think that's hard. Um, I also think uh, it's hard to find clothes that you fit, uh, especially when you're a short guy. Um, yeah, because most of the guys are longer than, than us. Um, yeah, so. It's hard to find trousers or a lot of things to fit. Uh, I don't have a big problem with that, uh, finding trousers or anything, because I'm pretty long. I'm I'm longer than most of the guys in my class. I mean, one is longer than me. Um, for me, it's uh, it's just got easier to buy trousers because I always bought female trousers and they were always too short and now I finally get can get boy trousers and they're long enough so yeah um, but I'm also pretty small and pretty skinny so uh, most clothes are more baggier and actually I, I really like it so I don't like tight things um, yeah. So, um, of course, coming out to people is hard. Um, yeah, that's pretty hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I have a good experience with that. So, um, buying alcohol when you're, uh, I don't know how old you have to be in America to buy alcohol. Uh, in Holland, it's you are 16 when you have to buy alcohol, and when you are 18, you can buy whiskey and yeah. Um, but of course, it's um, and you look younger because you still have your female face, and not all people will see that you're 16 or 18 and. I don't drink alcohol, so I never had this problem, but I think it's going to be a problem when you have to buy alcohol and you are going to show your ID and it says female, but you look male. Yeah, <laughs> I never had a problem, but I think it can be a problem. Um, of course, other problems with your ID when you are on testosterone. and. Yeah, uh, you come uh, sound like a guy and you look more like a guy and your RD says female, but you look male. Yeah, that can be a problem. Uh, I heard that in Holland you get a sort of uh, card that says I'm transgender, so when there's a problem you can show that and yeah, it's gonna be fixed, but I think it's, it's a little embarrassing when you have to show that. Anything. Um, of course, with your coming out, uh, when you come out to people, uh, you can may lose some friends, but and that's hard, of course. But it's also so that um, I think they are not friends if they don't accept you like you are. So yeah, I think. The friends who stay are good friends. So um, I think it's also hard to find a job um, because you, because you have to uh, to show your ID and people think that you are female when you're coming, but there's a sort of male coming and 
Yeah, maybe it can be hard, and when you grow older, um, uh, yeah, I think it's harder to find a job because uh, not all people will accept that you're like this. So, um, also I don't think operations. Um, uh, surgeries to match with your inside uh, yeah you can take surgery and that costs a lot of money um, I heard that in America you have to pay it for yourself in Holland uh, it's kind of uh, I don't know how it's called uh, the government space uh, a part of your operation so that's really nice uh, but I heard that in America it's not that way and I feel really sorry for you guys um, if I'm wrong just say it I, but um, yeah you have um, if you really yeah it's hard because you are in um, Yeah, um, my camera just stopped. Um, because you're female from the outside, and if you really want to have surgery or something, it's gonna be cost a lot of money. And it's so unfair because we feel like a male inside, and we have this female body, and to mess with your inside, you're gonna be have to have operation. It's not that every trans guy takes operations, but yeah. So I think that was it. Um, things that I experience right now is that, of course, dysphoria. Um, also, to wear a binder. That I don't look like the guys of my age. I really hate that. Um, my coming out. It's really hard to come out to people. Uh, I didn't lose anyone. Uh, but yeah, it's of course hard to come out to your parents and school and that kind of stuff. <coughs> and swimming. I really hate that I can't go to swimming. Bye guys, see you next week.